Hi there my friends and today we're going to discuss the increment and decrement operators in C. So let me open up my editor and as you may have noticed I have created a new file I name it ex17 underscore increment and decrement dot C and I have added this ahead of time so I have three variables created x y and z so adding one to a variable can be done with the increment operator which is the plus plus so this will increment or add one to the variable similarly the decrement which is the minus one the decrement operator minus minus is used to subtract one from a variable so this will decrement or subtract one from a variable so this is the examples of increment and decrement operators so the increment and decrement operators can be used either prefix or before the variable name or postfix after the variable name which way you've used the operator can be important in an assignment statement as in the following example so I will give you an example here so let's just put let's assign 3 to Z like that and then variable X will have this will have the value of Z so I will make a comment in here so this will assign assign 3 to x since z is equivalent to 3 so 3 will assign to x then decrement z to 2 so that's how the decrement operator works let's try another example so y is equal to 3 so x now has the value of the increment incremented of y so it will increment y to 4 and then assign 4 to x so that's so that's how this works so the 3 we assign 3 to y so y increment y to 4 so we increment y to 4 and then assign it to x so for x has now a value of 4 the same goes with the decrement operator so we use in here we use the the postfix after the variable name and the postfix or uh, sorry the prefix before the variable name so the prefix form increments or decrements the variable and then uses it in the assignment statement while the postfix postfix form uses the variable the value of the variable first before incrementing or decrementing so that's the difference between the two so so that's it and before we wrap up let's test your knowledge I have here a little uh, programming exercise in the other tab on this tab so uh, what is the value of X after the following code so these are the codes so what do you think is the value of X if you know the answer please leave it in the comment section below thank you